Not bad. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was a pretty gorgeous day. Today, possibility of four inches of snow tonight. Oh, Mother Nature. Oh my God. And it's like heavy and quick. So we got some things we got to do ahead of time. One of them is getting the cows bedded down so that they're more comfortable, cleaner. And, uh, well, it was just getting messy. So we'll go ahead and get them locked in and uh, hopefully have a good day. We got some things we got to do all around. We got some things we got to do. So let's, uh, oh, hey guys, Norman, what are you doing outside while they're in here? We're going to do some, some bedding today. Okay, so once you're in here, I'm gonna shut that gate and you guys are gonna be mad at me for a little bit, but we gotta. My plan is to rent a mini skid to get in there and actually clean that out at some point. They're not laying in there, I'm just feeding in there. So, but we got this bedding bale here and then we do have some big bedding bales, but yeah, gotta give them some bedding. So it's a little overdue, um, get this opened up. Should be easy enough with the tractor. Now that we got a general idea, I should probably spread it so I don't have a pile. Um, but let me get it cleaned up some and then I'll figure out exactly what I want to do. Probably got to spread it because I don't really have a spot to stockpile it. Yeah, some wasted feet, but it's all part of it. Remind me at night to come out and see exactly where that's sparking across. Um, I'm not really sure. I can hear it, but... We all remember uh, what happened last time I messed with the electric fence when it was on. So, let's not do that again. This fence is hot. But I hear that all the time. I will uh, get everything cleaned up quick. And then you guys can go back to partying, okay? We will just get this flipped up and out of the way.
I cannot believe how smooth that one. One pass through and pretty much got everything. Huh. It's, it's back down pretty good. We got one load. So I got to move a bale so that we don't have to, have to start this every day. I figured once I moved this bale out of here, we put a bale here. Gonna kick the water over, put the trough here, feed right out, make it nice and easy um, in case somebody else has got to do it for us. So, <laughs> let me flip this nasty water. We gotta get a copper pipe. We're getting goldfish in the summer. We're going in the water troughs. It's like the good old days. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be better. Water out the window, go rinse this out, scrub it down. Um, goal for this summer is get waters in pastures so that. Well, actually, what was my plan? I was gonna put a waterer there, the base, so that they'd have to come back for it or something. I forget what it was. New Zealand, they used, what did they use? They had no water on the pastures, so that the water was the enticer to make cows move or something, which isn't the best thing. I think that's what it was. No, it was feed. They ran them out of feed in one pasture and then they would move. This is on robots, not water. Water limits milk very quickly if you don't have it. So, I'll finish scraping up. Um, get the 46 hooked up to the manure spreader, spread the one load. Then we'll put the forks on, break this up. Every time we do this, somebody asks why I don't put lime down. I am allergic to lime, like powder lime. Um, Lime that you spread on the fields, not so so much. Like that's not the same way. But my heavy breathing and stuff like that sometimes. I'm I have environmental allergies to hay, dust, pollen, cats, cows, dogs, trees, pretty much everything. And when I was younger, I struggled a lot with it, and I just kept pushing myself through it. And here we are today. It doesn't bother me as much, but in the summer I do take Claritin because. You get one day and all of a sudden it, it's hard to breathe, stuff like that. So, yeah. And I, back when I was younger, we were gonna do the shots and stuff like that and just never did it. I kind of grew out of it. I used to, I used to like die, pretty much die. So I've come a long way with it, but that is why we don't do lime. If I had somebody helping me, yeah, I'd have them throw lime. Used to do it with the bedding spreader, stuff like that. And I still tear up and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I should probably go get the 46 and put it on that tractor or on the manure spreader. We'll be back. Watch the watch the 27. Make sure nobody robs it. Well, hello there, beautiful. Uh, you could use a little wax. You're in your work clothes though. Okay. Okay, 4640, we bought it 10 months ago. It was about 10 months ago. It's got 40, I think 47 hours since. There goes a the mouse. Ugh. Yeah, it goes not. There is a cat that runs around here. I think there's two actually. Um, yeah, quad range. Takes a man, you know, ain't no power shift here, but came from Ritzel's and it's been for what what it does it's been awesome it looks like the air intake is crooked I'll have to do some figuring on that but all it did was run blower uh, plant corn run blower and manure spreader so we will uh, needs a little detail it's been sitting and it's dusty but uh it needs duels and it needs the saddle tank. Seth, you hit me up yesterday. I said, yes, I'm still coming from. We gotta we gotta get the saddle tanks out of Pennsylvania um, that are going on this. That's on our list. Corn planter, tillage implements, and then corn planter. Keep in mind, we're March. At earliest, we're a month and a half away from doing really anything in the fields probably. Um, if this keeps up where it's just a sloppy mess, probably a little bit longer, but we're not going to be as late as last year. Hopefully the season's a little bit better. 
Um, hopefully it doesn't rain all the time. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's just been wet. I know Western New York, like I talked to Tom, farming some bitch, the way we farm. Um, they're dry. They're putting nitrogen on wheat and stuff like that. Yeah, not happening here. So. Okay. I'm gonna make a sloppy mess out of this, I bet. So if you don't know how this works is there's power quads which um like the 7000 series 8000 can you get 8000 power quads I, I don't think so ivt's and but 7000 6000 so you got a b c and d and hopefully you guys can see some of this so that's each one here and then you got one two which you can just slap across while it's running and then you got a clutch to go to three and four but you can slap across and then back down here, you got reverse one, reverse two. So right now I'm in A, reverse one, slowest reverse gear. Reverse is pretty quick in these things. Um, but basically it works out to be a 16 speed um, Ford. But I'll just get hooked up quick. Nice and easy. Someday I'll have a tractor for every implement. Amateur hour, I'm hooking up. Oh, come on, Jack. So, put that in neutral, put that in park. It settled a little. And yes, the 4640 is only big 1000. Um, so I got adapters, but 7520 is only big 1000 as well. We still gotta get a new PTO shaft, but honestly, we've spread what? Four loads? Five loads? So. notice that that's coming out we've never we've never used a quick hitch on this um, I'll have to remember to tap that back in
I guess it wasn't all the way in. Amateur hour here. Let's see if that wants to stay in there. I got a rag in here? No. There we go. So the door is open. Now it's shut. We are good to go. We got a squeaky steering wheel now. Yep, making a oh. Part of me didn't want to do any of this because we we're going to make some ruts. We're going to stay on the roadway and spread off of it, but at the same rate, I didn't want to leave a pile and have it snow four inches and make a mess. Dump cart does have to come off because we got to put the, those on the plows so we can be ready there. part of farming in the winter and in the mud season all right let's uh get loaded up someday it would be nice to have more of this con concrete or even asphalt probably concrete better better for farm use um just to not have this issue in the winter because If you load that up, I'll just hang out and film, okay? I'm just kidding. How are you doing? How are you doing? I didn't leave you, I went and got your birthday. Well, I think by the time they see this video, you've already had your birthday. You're getting old on me. March 14th, Pi Day, bud. Yanko's sister's named Pi because, well, born on March 14th. What do you want for your birthday? like they're so neglected pinned up against the fence oh I got a good group of calves there somebody parked the silage truck right there Swap to the forks, push that bale out of the way, or push it around, 
and then um, put a bale in the barn. That locks in after a few little bumps. The bracket actually has got a little twist to it. It's had it since I got it. Part of having a tractor that's 20 some years old. Fuck. Right? How old are you? How old are you? <laughs> You're being cute today. I love you. Keith Frazier, we appreciate the snacks for Yanko. Um, whiteboards will come in handy. I think those will stay in the house. We'll, I'll, I'll show them at some point here. I'll just break this bale up. We used half of it last time and we'll use the other half this time. Long term goal, have a bedding spreader or a bale grinder there, like one of those nice uh, noon ones, or I mean night ones. Should have broke that up a little more, but grab the pitchfork. We've got some extra bedding in here that's got to get cleaned out at some point. Let's start from the back. that up some more. <laughs> there we go. Roll it a little bit. Not bad. Not bad at all. So why are we betting with bales? Well, that was a junk bale in a field um, from years past. And then I got some poor quality that we took off some places. Um, yeah, it just worked out that way. So we do have bedding up top. I can taste that bale in my mouth. We do have bedding up top that at some point we should probably utilize but i think it's holding this wall out um and i know a bunch of people have said why don't you do this or that have the amish redo the barn i don't know really what i want to do long term the bones of the barn are good um the exterior could use some love but how much money do i want to dump into the barn if Honestly, I want a different barn. We'll explain that someday. So, currently we're not, we're kind of hobby farming with the beefers, but they keep, that might change. 
and I know a bunch of people are gonna tell me beef prices, this, that. Don't worry, I'm not buying beef cows anytime soon. Look out, bud. two bales on. I was just gonna put the one, but we might as well have both in there. Um, I got the forks on instead of the spike, the spears. Wow. We'll drop them in. I don't know what's up on top of that bale. Something was up there. I don't know if that's from a cat or uh, exactly what, but yeah, we'll set one bale after another. That way they're in and they're good. Honestly, these two bales should get us pretty much to pasture time, so, which is a good thing. The boys are bored, I can tell you that. Will they fit? They will fit. We just gotta. I just gotta get it over. I also can't see nothing, but uh, top bill is a little bit off. Might have to put them in one at a time. Ooh, ooh. I broke one string. That ain't the worst. put them in the long way they should fit I've had them in before yeah they fit I'm amazed at how well this stuff all kept not super super green but there's still a lot of green in it for the season we had them making dry hay so two bales in here you guys ready to come out? Yep. Uh, that goes over here, that way the wind doesn't open it up. Got some clean water for them. You guys are living today. They're gonna go right over to the bedding and uh, start eating that stuff. Alrighty, let's go see if we can get stuck. Um, hopefully not, otherwise it's gonna be a long walk back. That 
is why side slinger is pretty good for this. Newer vertical beater spreaders are pretty awesome too with pack manure and even consistent spread. Side slingers do not like rocks. That's a big thing. So. Before we went out there and spread, so now I'm spreading here. and We got quite a bit of spots we could spread, but I'm trying not to make ruts everywhere. An old spreader. Does a pretty good job. outlet it's running it's not running that much but if we get the rain that they say it's gonna be running a bunch more so hopefully all our outlets will have to go around and just check all the outlets make sure we're good um, we still got to put cages on them and stuff like that something I forgot really just till now yeah we'll come out here um i don't even know what those tires are from oh they were spares that weren't that great so they brought them out here plows pretty much everything out here has to well plows tanker tender hopefully is good and hopefully the rolling baskets are good um then we'll be in a good spot the calves are having a field day now Running in and out, in and out, back and forth. Norman caught me filming him. <laughs> I don't know what it is that new bedding causes livestock to get so excited. Before we forget, put that through. We got an assortment box here. Let's see. that's going to be too small. Yeah. Too small. This one's just right though. It's amazing how much mud was on the tires from previously. Alrighty, we'll get that backed in. Better move the stuff in the driveway before uh, it snows too much and makes a mess out of that so we'll go do that you know wrapping projects up before the snow and then we'll probably work in the shop when it snows until tomorrow uh, you know, working outside after I hope we're not getting four inches of snow I hope not I still haven't figured out fully where every I keep forgetting where I put stuff and it's starting to rain now what do you, you need water? You're drinking out of mud puddles. I'll get you some water and then we'll get in the tractor. Okay, we got to swap them now and it is actually snowing. I don't get it. I do Mother nature. Like I said, this one, it's got a little bend to something. It's on every implement. But you use it once and it locks in and then clearly this side's good. So we're gonna put the bucket back on and I'll show you what we're doing. I just came down here. We're gonna widen the roadway out a little bit more. And I'm like, what? There's my ski my uh skid shoe for the plow. Huh. Not sure how that ended up there, but we gotta do a little driveway maintenance here. Um, we got some bumps and stuff like that. But what we're doing is we got a significant drop off. And what we're going to do this year, 
We're going to widen the roadway out so that we can get in and out with larger pieces of equipment. It's less sketchy for trucks. But the end thing that we're going to have to do is put a bigger culvert across here. Um, we'll probably, you know, Bob and Isaiah, you guys probably won't do that ourselves. We can, but we'll need, a, we'll need some help. So bigger culvert, wider, probably bigger, get more water flow through. Um, since it does have a culvert in the corner there that runs across, but I'd rather all the water go here and we, we fill this in some more. So I had some milling slash ditch digging and uh, Isaiah actually hooked me up. Somebody had a load of bricks, so we're gonna dump the bricks and uh, we got some ditch digging other stuff. So we're just filling it in and it's gonna settle out. It's not the best stuff to fill with, but I have heard that they are digging all the ditches on my road for the county and they're paving some of it. So that is, will be good this summer. Um, there's some bumps and all the ditches have to be dug. So we gotta get on that list. But I'm gonna move these bricks and dump them over and then we're gonna put some more stuff on them. Had to get out, throw the stick, talk to John. So we're rolling. Um, yeah, he was at Pancake Breakfast, which I probably should have walked today. That would have been good this morning. But we're, I was telling him, wow, you guys are cricket. I was telling him my plans as far as widening the road and what we're doing, and he said, that would be good. He said, the one on the end by the mailbox, that's like overflow, that is actually 40 foot wide, and then this one right here is 20, but he said, we may do... He moved in here, I think 72 is what he said. 71, 72 came up from Connecticut. There's quite a lot of people that are in this area that moved from Connecticut over the years. So it's kind of, it's kind of insane, to be honest. But at that time, there was competition in Connecticut and if you wanted to grow, you could come to New York and. buy a farm it's still that way there's still people moving up this way so the people I sold the tank to um, the husky tank they're exactly it they, they moved up 20 miles a little over 20 miles from each other so, all part of it I'm gonna move a few more buckets of this and then I'm gonna leave it I this this fill stuff that they dug out of the Basically, they dug uh, creeks or whatnot. It's not really that great for packing, so it will be good for to put it on top. Uh, I might dump it over the over the other side of that stuff. That might be what I do. Dump it over that hard pack that was already there. We'll do that. Okay. Got some dirt in there. Yeah, we should probably put this back. I take it that was together. Hopefully, we don't need the snow plow, but probably should put that back on. I'm gonna bring down a load of stone. We're gonna fill in some little spots. Um, yeah, <clears throat> like right here, those little spots. Put a little bit of dirt on top of the bricks just so it doesn't look so shoddy. But this stuff is not, eh, it's not bad. So if we can get it widened out to like where it is here leveled out, that will be very, very nice. Um, there's a brick up here. <laughs> Some trash. Well, this is the stuff that came and that was really nice. Um, I guess we'll go back down here, I forget. We're in the market for a culvert. Probably gonna have to buy one because I want a big long one and wide one. Yeah, what is that, five foot? 20 foot, five foot? So if we could go to like a 40 foot and uh, probably a six or seven, keep water flowing that way. And that will put us like 
out here with the culvert pipe which will give us a ton of room 20 foot with uh equipment that is as wide as some of our stuff or bringing semis in and out does not work very well well one day we're gonna drive off this and or somebody's gonna drive off it if we don't do something different so yeah if we can be out there that'll be really really nice so alrighty let me uh, clean up some of my mess. I'm going to leave the rest of that pile there. That way we can put it on top or something like that. But we need some more good fill and not really dirt. Dirt doesn't make a good base. Definitely doesn't make a good base. Doesn't make a good driveway either. So that will pack in with the bricks and whatnot. So yeah, it worked out. I don't know who Isaiah got bricks or... Yeah, who had bricks that Isaiah pointed in my direction, but I appreciate them dropping them off. And they're really nice bricks. I don't know what they came from. But they worked out. Okay, we will uh, clean the bucket out. Probably wrap up. What, what do you need? Why are you so excited? Is it your birthday? It's not your birthday today, but... I think when this video comes out, it's your birthday. Um, I'll just scrape the bucket out right here, and I can pick it back up. Dump it somewhere else. Um, I needed a shovel, that's why I came up here. Not too bad. I did dump some dirt in the driveway, in the yard where there was a hole. Uh, what else we got going on? Yeah, weather's gonna turn quickly here, so we'll do that and probably call it a day. Um, I might keep tinkering, but nothing worth filming. Forgot I left the lights on in here. Alrighty, that is much better. But well, calves are clean, driveway's a little wider. We cleaned up some things and we're a little bit more ready for some snow. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.